everybody. Today I make a new video on basically the Roblox developer content conference and all the things I talked about, mainly UGC, because that's what this channel is about, you know, catalog. So I'm going to stick to that. Um, they didn't mention premium because, you know, premium is not really a developer thing. It doesn't really relate, relate to developers, so I don't really think they would mention it there. But yeah, so I'm just going to talk about what the different things they talked about here and more info we have. So did you see, well, uh, also uh, credit to Forsai, he went to REC and he got all this information, so yeah, credit to him. Um, first off, UGC will require a verified creator account. If you don't know what UGC is yet, um, user generated content, that's what it stands for. That may, basically means users will be able to create their own hats and things on Roblox. So um, it says it will require a verifier, verified or creator account. So you would need an account that's verified by Roblox, um, and you, and then you could post hats. But it needs to be approved by Roblox. I don't know how they're gonna do that, but maybe we'll figure that out in the coming months. But yeah, you, you're gonna need a verified creator account to create those hats. Um, free to list and catalog, limited on how much you may publish in given time, price for per item type. So um, there's a limit to how much you can create. In a given time, so you can't create like 100 hats in like a minute. You have to there's like a time limit, which is very good, so we don't get spammed with like random different crazy hats. Um, free to listen catalog. I don't know. I don't understand what that means. Maybe if you know what that is, um, tell me in the comments. Um, price for per item type. That's basically the minimum maximum for an item per item type, like black accessory, waist accessory, like that things. Publish page. This is how it's gonna look. Basically, that's that. Baseball cap, the UGC baseball cap that they had before, like the red and gray one. Can't really see too much of it, but I mean, it doesn't look that detailed. It doesn't have a lot of things on it, but you never know. Oh, wait. So this is the name, and that's the description. That's the asset type. It doesn't say limited anywhere, which sucks, <laughs> but maybe maybe this going to be limited. Who knows? Um, so they, they uh, acknowledged the issues, um, which is the copying and then all these botted clothing, which is really good. Um, there's aesthetic quality, functional quality. And, you know, it makes sense because if the hat is like crazy and it doesn't really like fit on your head properly or it doesn't work in, really, in a lot of games, that's an issue. Aesthetic, maybe if it looks disgusting or it <laughs> looks like it came out in 2009, then maybe, oh, my alarm. Uh, then maybe that's going to be an issue as well. The copying, that's, I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue since there is obviously that time limit and they're verified creators. So I don't think copying is going to be too much of an issue, but, you know, if they have, you know, imagination, then I'm sure that won't be a problem. Um, next, roadmap, rollout 2019. So this is interesting because this lists all the things coming out in 2019, basically coming out in 2019. So, you know, I don't, I, don't think anything that's interesting, but it says allow publishing of UGC hats. So UGC hats are coming this year. We only have like a few months, um, four months until this comes out or somewhere in there. But so you have a maximum of four months until this comes out. This can like, it looks like crazy and just get like come out, comes out tomorrow, <laughs> but you never know. But this is coming out this year. So that's a lot to think about. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of questions that comes with this, but yeah, 2020, you know, there's, there's more interesting things here. There's the bundles where you can create your own bundles, I think that's what it means, the bundles. Or maybe that's for, like, developer thing. And emotes coming out 2020. Um, I would have expected them to come out earlier. I mean, they, were, they already have the 20 emote leaks that we have, and they already have the three other ones that they released, Stadium, Salute, and... Tilt. They released those test ones, they're off sale now, but they should be pretty close to releasing those soon, so I, I'm expecting those to come out early 2020. But yeah, that's basically it for this. Um, there are a few questions that I still have with this because, you know, there's a lot that isn't mentioned. Like, will we be able to create off sale items and limiteds with this? Because, you know, people like time items, people like limiteds. Limiteds haven't come out in like a few months. People are like <laughs> dying, <laughs> but I'm ex I'm excited to see if they are able to create those things because then that'll be great. Um, sales. Uh, if Roblox, I've heard that Roblox is still gonna be creating items, which is good. 
but will the verified creators be able to also help out in sales to make them better than they are currently because they haven't been the best, especially Memorial Day, they just kind of died. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's a lot of information that they released in RDC, so yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.